Hello, Harry. Bill Weasley. Oh, pleasure to meet you. As never always this handsome. Harry. Dead, at least. True enough. I were also a werewolf, name of Greyback. I will repay the favour one day. Well, you're still beautiful to me, William. Just remember, Fleur, Bill takes his stakes on the raw side now. <laughs> My husband, the Joker. By the way, wait till you hear the news. Oh, right, all right. We have time for a cosy cut up later. We've got to get the hell out of here. And soon. Potter, you're underage, which means you've still got the trace on you. What's the trace? Well, if you sneeze, the ministry will know who wipes your nose. The point is, we have to use those means of transport the trace can't detect. Brooms, testicles, and the like. We go in pairs. That way, if anyone's out there waiting for us, and I reckon there will be, they won't know which Harry Potter is the real one. Bill, look away. I'm hideous. I knew she was lying about that tattoo. Harry, your eyesight really is awful. Right then, we'll be pairing off. Each potter will have a protector. Mundungus, stick tight to me. I want to keep an eye on you. As for Harry... Yes? yes. dead. Mundungus took one look at Voldemort and just apparated. Minister of Magic doing here. here as kids. The order uses it now as a safe house. What's left of us at least. Muggles think these keep evil away. But they're wrong. I need to talk to the goblin. It seems, despite your exhaustive defensive strategies, you still have a bit of a security problem, Headmaster. I'm afraid it's quite extensive. Out of bed, you blithering idiot. Oh. Sorry, Mum. As it happens, Mr. Filch, your arrival is most opportune. If you would, I would like you, please, to lead Miss Parkinson and the rest of Slytherin House from the hall. Exactly where is it I'll be leading them to, Mum? The dungeons would do. Stupid girl. Trigger. 
I'd like to say something. 